welcome back to my channel it's your girl kashara here oh my voice sounds a little bit raspy today i don't know why it's been a couple of weeks since i uploaded a video but i'm gonna get into all those details a little bit later to let you guys know exactly what's been going on okay but anyways as you saw i am enjoying my coffee um, I made it in my bed, so I won't have to get in my bed or whatever. And I'm about to get ready to read my book. This is lately what I've been doing to start my morning. It gives me so much peace early, early in the morning or whatever. So, um, I love, love doing this. Just a moment of silence, my coffee, a clean room, just nice, okay? But yeah, I'm about to enjoy this cup of coffee and read my book. And I'll catch up with you guys later. I just finished brushing my teeth, washing my face, just put on some lounge clothes, as you can see. But yeah, just put on some lounge clothes. Um, I'm about to get ready to run and get something to eat from Chick-fil-A because I want me some Chick-fil-A breakfast this morning. My boobs look huge in this shirt. Maybe because they are big, I don't know. <laughs> but, y'all already know I love my Chick-fil-A, like the little hash brown bowl. So I'm gonna give me that, and my son wants a chicken biscuit. So I'm about to get ready to run to Chick-fil-A and get us some breakfast, and then come back, and I need to write out like a to-do list so I can get everything done that I need to be done. I'm like starting to like these little hoop earrings. I think they're so cute on me. I think they're really, really cute. But anyways, guys, let me go get me some breakfast and i'll be back so i just made it back home like i said i went to chick-fil-a and y'all know i got my egg bowl i don't know why i keep calling it an egg bowl but it's a hash brown scramble this is what it looks like and i got me a large water i wanted a sweet tea and lemonade mix so bad but i was like you know what this week we're just gonna drink water we're just gonna try to drink water all week okay so i got me a large water instead of giving me like some orange juice or sweet tea um this chick-fil-a sauce on this hash brown scramble is so freaking good y'all if y'all have not tried this chick-fil-a chick-fil-a y'all need to sponsor me okay period because honey i'm always raving about this egg thing but if y'all have not tried this you need to go try it it's so good and it's so filling and i promise you you will love it i'm just listening i'm watching bt her and watching like some oh it's called morning glow they play like old music and like new music so i'm just jamming and vibing this morning y'all i am so freaking tired do you hear me like can y'all see, see like i'm sweating like bad like i'm sweating bad y'all so i just clean my downstairs i clean my living room and my kitchen i don't think i even showed y'all that i actually redid my cabinets and my countertop y'all probably noticed that this morning when i was making my coffee but your girl kind of like renovated, not renovated, not, you yeah, renovated or whatever. You know, you can't do much when you live in a rental property. So I kind of got that um, black wood contact paper and a marble contact paper. I put it on my countertops and I did my cabinets black and I love it. Let me show y'all. So don't mind that. Cause like I said, I'm cleaning up. I got to take the trash out, but my cabinets and I got to still do the bottom part down here. But my cabinet is this black wood and then my marble countertop. But I freaking love it. It turned out so good. And why is it nothing? Let me turn the light on. But it turned out, I still gotta do that cabinet back there. But I was like, you know what? It don't look up there, okay? Don't. But anyways, yes. And I'm waiting on my um backsplash to come in. And I also got the motion sensor lights. That I'm gonna have to put up under here. So I'm gonna do my backsplash right there in this area. I'm gonna remove that piece right there. I tried to see if that marble piece would stick and it wouldn't. So I'm gonna take that off. I rearranged my living room furniture. Don't mind the laundry on the couch. I'm about to get ready to fold that. 
but I turned my TV and everything this way. Y'all, I dropped some bleach on my carpet about maybe a year or two ago and I just couldn't get it up. So with that being said, I'm about to get ready to fold these clothes and take my shower because I'm so freaking hot. I'm sweaty. Oh my God, like you really can see it now. Like really, really sweet. It's 67 in here, but I am moving around. So yeah, but guys, you know, I'm about to watch. Um, Insecure, I love Insecure. Do you guys watch Insecure? Let me know in the comment box if you actually do. I love that freaking show. But I'm about to get ready to catch up on the latest episode of that and fall these clothes. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay guys, so I just got out the shower. It is 11.38. Still morning time. It seems like since I guess, I guess because I've been up like early in the morning that I feel like it should be like later than almost being noon. But anyways y'all, so I wanna show you some things that I got from Ulta. I picked up quite a few items that I shouldn't have got, but you know what? They were running a good sale on a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to try. And I bought this hemp lotion right here. Focus. And it had CBD oil in it, but it's the hemp CBD oil, THC free, oriental poppies and blue agave. Soothing and Wellness Herbal Body Moisturizer. So I got this and I also got this one right here. This one's like popular. This one smells so good. I used this last night and oh my God. It smells amazing. Mm. Oh my God, it smells so freaking good. And it's so moisturizing and just, ugh, it feels so freaking good on my skin. It smells like you're on like an island or something. Like, it's fruity. See, I like fruity scents. Now this one right here, it's like a more soothing scent. Like it's calm, you know, exactly what the thing he said is supposed to do. So soothing or whatever. So I got those two lotions and they were about, I wanna get one 40% off. I bought this tree. Okay, get the other one out of the bag. I feel like I'm a little bit too loud. But I bought two tree hunt. Um, Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub, Shea Sugar Scrub, and I got this kind. And I also got the Tree Hut Lemon Blueberry Tart, Shea um, She Butter, Shea Sugar Scrub. Yeah, I look. I can't talk today, but I got both of these, and I think these were buy one get one. Not 40% off, but I want to get one 50% off. As you can see with all this stuff I'm about to get ready to show you guys, you can kind of hint on what video is about to get ready to come up. But I got this Soft Cool Intense Foot Mask. This one. And I also got this one as well. This one is a foot mask also with tea tree oil. It's a tea tree oil moisturizing foot mask. So I got two of these. I think these was about one get one 50% off as well. I also got two bath bombs. I love me a bath bomb, okay? I got the nightclub for your tub, Disco Bomb, a fruit punch bath fizzer with a light up surprise inside. So I got this one as well. I don't think there was a sale on these. And I got the F bomb. This one, and this one says it's a lavender bath fizzer with a calming message inside. Two things, a fingernail polish. One, the instant dry. It's a white kind by Sally Hansen. And I also got a clear coat for it. And I like to paint my toes white. So I got these two. Okay, so in this box right here, this actually came separate. The ones that I just showed you that I ordered online and I got a curbside pickup. So check out y'all Ulta. If y'all have Ulta in your hometown, they have curbside pickup where you don't actually have to go in. You can actually pull up, they tell you to pop your trunk and you just call them, no have your ID and stuff. And the, it's like, it's gonna send you a barcode, let you know. So when you go pick your stuff up, you can just show it to them and they'll put it in your trunk and you can leave. So I love the fact that they had that. So I did curbside pickup, but this right here was actually delivered to me. I have become a obsessed with doing my own nails when i say obsessed i mean obsessed so here are these little thingies right here i don't know if you guys could see these but this is the style right here 
And I got this style. I got two of those maroon kind. And I have this kind. Focus. This one. I got this fun, like, summer kind. I wonder if it's picking up for you guys. I hope all of these are picking up. But I have so many of these nail thingies. Look at this blue I got, guys. I'm thinking about doing blue today. I don't know. I have not made up my mind yet, but this is what the blue look like. Ain't, oh my God, it's so freaking pretty. So pretty. But I have so many. I legit like ordered like two of each because like that would buy one, get one 40% off and they last up to 14 days. And they look exactly like gel nails. So, but I'm like, you know what? Let me try these. So I bought one pair of them before. I think I bought them in Walmart. Fell in love with them and they lasted for 14 days. Two weeks, guys. So it's kind of like your gel nails or whatever, like I said. But I think I'm going to do this blue today. Do I want to do the blue? Oh, my God. I have so blue in this box. Can I see? Oh. I have so many in this box. I finished my nails. This is what the outcome looks like. So freaking pretty. But anyway, so I'm about to get ready to finish making my list, put on me some clothes, wake up him, and get him some lunch, and I will be back, okay? Anyway, so I want to come out and just chat with you guys just for a minute or whatever, just to let you guys know what has been going on the past few weeks. So let me start off by saying the reason why I've been MIA is because my great grandmother, she passed away like two, three weeks ago. And I'm 27, if you guys do not know. And like, that was my first time ever experiencing death. So it was like, I still really don't um understand. Like I'm trying to grasp, you know, the whole concept of death. Not saying that I don't know or whatever, but just trying to deal with my emotions, which they are all over the place because it's still so surreal. Like I have my mom so I'm just like, wow, my grandma really is gone. Like, you know, see the thing is with my family, like, that was my great grandmother. I still have my grandmother. So, wish that was my grandmother's mom. A lot of people, they usually don't have like that great grandma. So, I'm on, I was blessed to have, still have my great grandma for all these years. My son got a chance to meet her and stuff like that. So, um, it was, you know, it's, it's just a big adjustment that I'm having to get used to trying to handle my emotions all over again. But, um, just like trying not to let myself go back into like being depressed or whatever. So I've just been trying to isolate myself, just distance myself from things that bother me and people that bother me or whatever and just trying to like change some things up to you know take my mind off reality or whatever you know um my biggest thing that i actually had to learn is i need to allow myself to feel and i've been allowing myself to feel my emotions you know to change my thoughts to positive thoughts instead of negative thoughts um you know like of course like i don't have my grandmother anymore but i know she's in a better place you know like i always thinking of trying to bring a positive into a a negative situation changing it from negative to positive i'm hoping my, i'm making some type of sense okay that's what i just been doing so that's why i like remodel my kitchen and like when i'm stressed i like to clean 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 do you hear me from top to bottom that's just a way that i just like to it helps me escape i put my airpods in and i listen to music and girl honey i would clean everything corners walls wipe down walls everything I would clean and like my apartment is finally feeling like home and I love it like at first I did not like staying by myself I'm not even gonna lie like living with someone for so long and it's like you get used to that person but then when that person's not there anymore it's like you have to relearn the whole of being alone by yourself again and that was like a struggle for me but now y'all I love coming home, being in my apartment with my son and when he's gone his dad by myself. Like, I can move when I want to move. I could come when I want to come. I could leave when I want to leave. Like, y'all, it is like a wonderful feeling and I'm slowly but surely like falling in love with myself again. Like, coming into realization of ways of the ways that I do have, the negative ways that I have, and trying to find positive ways to change and become a better person. 
so therefore i just want to come in and just let you guys know that that's what's been going on but anyways y'all tiktok has taken over my life i watch tiktok all day like all day every day okay what is he pulling Oh, <laughs> you guys, I am craving sushi and rice. So, guess what? I'm about to get ready to order me some sushi and some rice. So, I'm about to eat tonight. It's two o'clock, and it's gonna be lunch and dinner. Um, my son loves sushi as well, so. We're both gonna eat that tonight, okay? So I'm about to get to order that and go pick it up. Oh, I have a headache. My head is starting to hurt, and that's how I know that it's time for me to eat. I ate the Chick fil A at like 7 something this morning, and like I said, it is now 3 o'clock. So I need to eat something, or else I'm gonna be sitting up here miserable with a headache, and I'm gonna be bitchy, and it's not gonna be nice, okay? So guys, I got my sushi and my rice, and guess what I'm about to get ready to pour up. I stopped and got me a bottle of wine as well. Y'all know I love my wine. So I'm about to sip on me a little wine, eat my sushi and my rice, turn on the TV, and relax. Y'all, dinner was so good. My wine is kicking in, it's relaxing your girl. Um. It's 5.30. I'm about to get ready to just chill, watch a movie, and continue to sip on my wine. I'm going to drink me one more cup, and I'm going to save the rest of it into this weekend. But, anyways, I just want to come in and close out this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be on the lookout for other videos. i see you guys next time. Bye, guys.